So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 54 of our Portsmouth career mode and we are going to be starting off this episode with the transfer window opening. So as you can see here we're going to reject a um, management offer to go there. We've got a transfer offer for Christian Oxlade Chamberlain and we are going to go out and straight accept that because at the end of the day he hasn't played one minute for us at all so we're not going to be interested in keeping him at the club and um, he's a top player at his current club and doesn't feel like the move suits him. So guys, the reason why we want to go in for a guy like him is because he is 82 rated, he's 26 years of age and he's a left winger, but his contract's up. So I think that'd be fantastic if we could bring him in. But we've got some bad news here. It says, good morning. We feel you need to deal with the fact that Christian Pulisic is unsettled. So it looks like they want us to get rid of him and they want us to get rid of Omer as well. So Omer and Pulisic could be on their way out this transfer window. How before we jump into the next transfer window, we will be showing you a squad report so you can keep up to date with how all of the players are progressing. So feel free to pause the video at any moment if you want to have a look at some of the players. But I am also going to go through the squad report a little bit slower than normal because I did see a few comments asking that we do slow it down just a little bit so you can guys can keep a track on some of the stats. So we've got some good news there that Jala Sarra now hit a 70 rated. We've got Kyle Bennett, unfortunately, hasn't increased at all. But then we've got Drew Talbot, who's also decreasing in stats now, which isn't surprising, to be honest, because he's not playing very many games whatsoever, and yet he is quite old. But we've got Mbapp Loten, who's now hit an 81 rated. We've got Che Adams, 77 rated. But a very bad news is that both of them are currently on the treatment table. But I'm still happy with the squad we have managed to assemble here, and hopefully we will be able to take in a good transfer window, and maybe bring in a few very decent players on pre-contract deals but the bad news is as well it looks like we could be losing both um, Oma and Pulisic as they will be wanting to decline their contract and leave the club but we are going to jump into the first game of this episode which is going to be against Leeds it's going to be a difficult game but I do believe with our strongest possible lineup we will pick up all three points. Lovely piece of play from Pulisic. He plays the ball through to Emre Moore. And Emre Moore lets fly from range. But it's a fantastic save from the Leeds goalkeeper. We've still got the chance on as Lookman tries to play the ball back to Murillo. But it just wouldn't work out for us. Oh dear. We've given the ball straight to Leeds. And they've hit the post. Oh, that was lucky. We get let off the hook big time because we give the ball straight to Leeds and all they do, or all they could manage there is hit the post. They should have, in fact, hit the back of the net, but we're not complaining. As we go straight up the other end, we whip the ball across the face of goal and we come so very close from nearly conceding at one end to nearly scoring at the other. Oh no, you've got to be kidding me. As soon as we get two players injured, we now go and get a third. And it's our third best player. Emre Moore is now going to be substituted because he cannot continue. So Alex Awobi is going to come on up front. But it's just so frustrating that we're having so many injuries in such a crucial time of the season. So Alex Awobi through to Adamola Lookman. Lookman plays the ball through to Reese Oxford as he waits for the overlapping run of Vigar Cardoso. Cardoso cuts back inside. Cardoso is going to try and let fly from range. But he gets taken out as well. Don't tell me Cardoso's injured as well. Please. No way. It looks like he is as well. This is this is just so bad for us. We're getting so many injuries and yet they're all first team players. And it's true as well. No way. Now we're going to have to take Igor Cardoso off. So in the first half of this match against Leeds, we've lost our two best players on the pitch. Oh, this is so frustrating. So we're going to have to bring on Bennett on the right. <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to end up with no player soon. Leads with a fantastic chance on the right-hand side. The player in the box is all on his own, but they could not find him. But they are going to keep the ball in play, and then he boots it out. But to be honest, guys, I think the injuries have real hit us bad in this game. We're really struggling. We may have a chance to break those. Adam and Lookman has got the ball down the right-hand side, and we try and cut back inside and just lose possession of the ball. But the only good thing about this game is that Leeds are obviously applying the pressure. They think they could probably go on and pick up all three points here. So they're pushing a lot of bodies forward, which means means there's quite a few gaps on the counter. So as you see here, we win the ball back at Christian. Oh, Christian. 
It's a simple touch, man. You've got to control that. So, there we go. The game ends out as Leeds nil, Portsmouth nil. We failed to show anything in the final attack in third, but we lost our two attacking players. So, we lost Igor Cardoso and Emre Moore, both to injury in that game. Please don't tell me they're going to be out for long periods of time because we lost Lodin for three months and then we lost Che Adams for three months and now we've lost another two players and all of them are in the high 70s. Please don't tell me they are going to be out for long periods of time as well. So we've got a player returning from loan, which we're not interested in about. We've got one that Emre Moore's going to be out for eight weeks and, oh, thank God for that. Igor Cardoso out for nine days, which isn't too bad, but still... It's a long time we're having to wait for injuries. So we're now going to move into the second game of the episode, which is going to be at Fratton Park, as we will be taking on Hull City. So we've had to make quite an invention for this game as well. We've pushed Edwards out to the right. We've got Omer playing at Cam. We've got Awobi playing up top. And we've got Ezevedo playing on the left. And we've also got Velasco playing at left back. That's how we're having to change up the squad to try and fit around the injuries. So Velasco's on the ball for us. Plays the ball through to Marcus Edwards. Edwards out wide to Alex Awobi. Awobi tries to put the ball in the box, but it's a good block and goes out wide for a corner kick. So from the corner kick, Menezes puts a good ball in. It's going to come to Omar, but Omar can't win that one either. But we are going to try something from the throw -in. We normally get quite a good chance from the throw -in. So from the throw -in, Marcus Edwards plays the ball back to Clark. Clark back inside to Omar. Omar's turned his man. Omar plays the ball through to Jola Soro. Can he play the ball back to Omar? He can't. And it goes out wide for a goal kick. So Jalo Soro through to Hugo. Oh, Hugo nearly got there as well, but we win the ball back here with Matt Clark. Matt Clark through to Azoro. Azoro through to Alex Awobi. Awobi's turned his man. Awobi goes for a goal. But once again, the whole defender's doing their job very nicely. So good ball through to Marcus Edwards. Edwards does very well. Cuts back inside. Plays the ball back to Oma. Oma through to Jalo Soro. Soro's turned his man. Azoro ah, goes for goal. And that just sums up our episode so far. So Omar through to Marcus Edwards. Edwards through to Alex Awobi. Awobi plays the ball out wide to Hugo Avezado. Hugo comes back inside. Hugo to score. Hugo's for goal. He's hit the underside of the crossbar. No way. Oh, I thought he had scored his second goal in a Portsmouth shirt. That was millimetres away from one of the goal of the series. Alex Awobi through to Clever Menezes. Menezes out wide to Josh Vela, who's yet to score for us. He cuts back inside and he can't do it either. And Hull try and launch an attack of their own. But as you see there, they've just got loads of bodies back now. They're just holding on for the result. But we play the ball out wide to Hugo again. Hugo's cut back inside. This guy is might be the only magician that can do something for us, but not even he can do something. And we end up drawing again. So that's 2-0-0 draws on a trot. A very boring game for you guys to watch and a very boring game to be honest for me to play. Just as boring as the first one. Oma picks up man in the match to be honest. I didn't think he even played. Is that bad? I don't know where they got that stats from but I thought Hugo played very well once again. So we get a transfer offer for Axel Werner which is no surprise whatsoever to go to Schalke and we're going to say we want a hell of a lot of money to let our 22 year old goalkeeper go and guys look at this. Ike Munain has accepted his pre-contract deal and we are going to go ahead and accept it. So next season, Ike Munain will be playing in a Portsmouth shirt and also he sold Christian Oxley chamberlain But guys, how about that? An 82 rated player on a pre-contract deal. That's right, guys, on a pre-contract deal and he's only going to cost us 45000 That's how good it is. I cannot believe it. Fantastic news for us. And uh, Reese Oxford also wants an increase in co his contract. And he wants an extra five grand a week, which is quite a bit. But we'll still go ahead and give it to him because he is a crucial first team player. So we got transfer for Christian Pulisic. We do know he actually wants to leave the club. But that's a lot under his valuation. We're going to want quite a bit of money for Christian Pulisic. To be honest, he's worth, valued at 8 million, but we want a lot. Schalke come back to us and say they don't believe he's worth that much. It was unacceptable. Reese uh, Oxford accepted his contract, which is fine with us. And Ryan Mason is currently a 78 rated player, and we could sign him on a pre contract deal, maybe. And another player is Thomas Ince. Thomas Ince looks quite good at 76 rated, but the only problem is with him, he's on quite a bit of wages. So, guys, we have a lot of faith in our 
our squad because we're going to go ahead and sim the FA Cup round three. It's going to be up against Wigan at their place, but Wigan are currently near the bottom of our own league and we beat them quite easily in the league as well when we sim the game. So... Can we go ahead and beat them and knock them out of the FA Cup without actually physically playing? Yes, we can. Miseroli scored a penalty for us in the sixth minute. And then Lookman scored in the 74th to win us the game by two goals to one. So, as you can see here, we've got a transfer offer for Adamola Lookman to go to Mainz. We're going to say we want a hefty, hefty sum for him. We're going to want around about 14 million for the youngster, and we know for a fact they will not go ahead and do that. So, we just put in some stupid bids here for Leon Belly. I want 20 million. Tyler Walker said they don't want to let him go out on loan. Alex said they don't want to let Florian Aye go out on loan either. Empoli won't let Mateus Pereira go. Drew Albert says there he's joining. In Barnet when his contract's up, which is fair enough, and Barnet are in League Two, so he's going to jump from a probably a side that's going to get promoted straight to the Barclays Premier League and go back to League Two from where he started, which doesn't really make sense, but of course. His decision, he can do whatever he wants. So we've got a monthly scouting update here. We've got Declan Robinson, who we will get rid of straight away. Oh, look at that guy. He's got an overall 26 to 36. You've got to be kidding me. Then we've got Taylor Bell. No, I'm sorry. We're going to get rid of him as well. Elliot Kelly, we'll definitely get rid of him. And Sam Clark. Maybe we'll keep him for the time being, but he doesn't look that amazing. And we've also got another monthly scouting report. So we've got Edson Reyes. I think we're going to keep him for the moment. Adriano, this guy, looks quite good. So I'll go ahead and promote him straight away because he looks quite good. Um, potential up to 94. Bruno Ferreira doesn't look too bad. This guy, Bruno Fernandes, we'll get rid of. Gomez will get rid of straight away. Cabral looks quite good, so we'll promote him. Um, Kleber Menezes. What? We've already got him. Um, then we've got Blanco as well. We will get rid of. So then players can stay in there for the time being. We've got a transfer offer here for Danny Rose, which we will go ahead and accept because as you guys do know, Danny Rose will be wanting to leave the club. But we've got some big news here. The transfer offer has been accepted of Christian Pulisic plus two million for Jason Vargas. So we are going to put in a bid for Jason Vargas and let's see what he says. So he will become a crucial first team player if he does accept. He's currently one rating bigger than Christian Pulisic but the problem is we do know for a fact that if a bid comes in for Christian the board will accept it and the last thing I want is the board to go ahead and accept something like six million for him when we know for a fact he's worth a lot more so that's the last thing we want to do. However guys that will in fact be it for this episode of career mode if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated and don't forget if you're around here hit that subscribe button to Keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>